Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 14.4.1 yes so yesterday night Apple released iOS 14.4.1 for all the iOS supported devices running on iOS 14 so as you can see this is iOS 14.4.1 and the build number is 18D61 so I'm using an iPhone 10R over here so I'm going to talk about few of the changes and how's the battery life and going to talk about in general whether you should update if you're using iOS 14.4 because all of us were expecting iOS 14.5 to come out in the few weeks but suddenly Apple released this iOS 14.4.1 so first i'm going to talk about what exactly is this update and why is it necessary for all of us to update to ios 14.4.1 and later in this video we're going to talk about is there any changes or why is this update is important for all of us to update so without further ado let's get started with the video but before that if you're new here on the channel and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on the channel do give this video a thumbs up and it would motivate me a lot if you could subscribe to the channel and with that being said Let's get right into the video. All right guys, so the first things first, let me go to the general and let me show you the iOS version. So as you can see, it's showing iOS 14.4.1 and the build number is 18D61 so i had taken a screenshot before yesterday night so as you can see so before updating the build number was 18D52 and the modem firmware was 3.02.02 and after updating as you can see there is no change in the modem firmware the modem firmware is still 3.02.02 and this update as you can see it came uh, fairly you know a uh, very small size so it came around 141.1 mb so if you are having any other device let's suppose iphone 11 12 or 10 10s max 10r for 10r it came around 141.1 mb now this update size could vary depending on which device you are using but it should come about the same size of 141 mb so then again i had taken a screenshot this is the ios 14.4.1 update so this came around on my iphone 10r as 141.1 mb now first things first let's talk about what are the new changes that we get to see in this update so basically there are no new features if we talk about new features but this is a very important security update as per apple because you know for android for google you know they release the security patches month by month so also ios releases this you know security patches whether they go ahead and fix some kind of security vulnerabilities in this case apple had tried to fix the you know webkit which is the underlying internet framework for safari so if you are using ios 14.4 don't expect a new feature with this ios 14.4.1 update basically no new features but as per the performance and stability goes i had also run the geekbench score so as you can see when my device was on ios 14.4 the single score performance was this 1115 and the multi score performance has uh, was 181 now today i have again runs the score the performance has been you know more or less the similar but it feels like the multi core uh, has been improved a little bit so then again there are no lags whatsoever so earlier we were facing this you know lag on the operating system while scrolling through the widget and the home screen so that is absolutely gone and some of you guys were talking about whether you were you know experiencing lag and some of you also have questioned me how's the battery life now most importantly let's talk about the battery life so battery life is something that i take generally three to four days once i receive an update to comment about so first let's go to this battery life and let's first go to this battery health so as you can see my iphone 10r still supports peak performance capability and it is at its 90 percent now then again these updates don't cause battery degrades it just rechecks the battery capacity that means the physical battery capacity because if you use your iphone it is very obvious that your physical capacity is supposed to degrade and it ios updates just checks that whether your physical battery capacity has been degraded or not and based on that it just puts the number over here so don't just think that you know updating to ios 14.4 or newer updates will cause a battery degrade now that's there now let's talk about the battery life as you can see i have been getting a screen on time about 5 hours 38 minutes so these screen on time average screen on time are based on ios 14.4 updates so as you can see this has been the battery life 
with iOS 14.4 and as you can see these are the application mostly I use and this is the average screen on time. So I will make a follow up review of this iOS 14.4.1 update how's the battery life now in terms of stability as I said there are no lags whatsoever and now let's talk about whether you should update to iOS 14.4.1. Now if I talk about this update, this is not a new feature added update. If you are expecting new features, then there is going to be none. But most importantly, you should install this update because it contains the security vulnerability fixes. Most importantly, the WebKit fixes, which is the internet framework for Safari. So definitely, definitely if you are on iOS 14.4 go ahead and install this update this update is available for all the supported devices which are running on ios 14.4 now talking about when we get to see the ios 14.5 so let's have a look at the calendar so today is 9th of march as of recording this video now we might get to see the ios 14.5 public build later this month probably 24th or 25th because as of now ios 14.5 beta 3 is in cycle so we might get to see ios 14.5 beta 4 then probably the rc and then probably the final build release so then again it's you know still time is there for ios 14.5 to come if you are expecting a new update then that's not going to be there pretty soon so i hope you enjoyed this video install this ios 14.4 one this was a video i wanted to talk about the importance of ios 14.4.1 and also whether you should update if you have received the update now many of you have commented on my previous videos that i have not received this update now if you have not received this update go ahead and click on general and go to the software update now automatically you should get this ios 14.4.1 pop-up but if you're not connected to wi-fi click on this automatic updates you know uncheck this download ios updates then check again it should automatically pop up so then again that's how you can you know download and install ios 14.4.1 i hope you like the video give this video a thumbs up and also do subscribe to the channel if you're new here that would motivate me a lot and i will see you on my next video bye